And our 10th and final finalist, Miss Earth's Moon, the Crushinator. Thank you, Bob Barker. I'm as happy as a girl can be. End statement. Crushinator is a minor character in the show Futurama. She's a big robot that has a very manly voice. In fact, she's one of the only female robots in the show that is voiced by a man. She has a lot of the features of a vehicle, like headlights, a grill, and tank-like treads that she rolls on, and she can also be driven like a car. Even though Crushinator has a very small role in the show, she's one that almost any viewer can recognize almost instantly. I think one of the big reasons for that is that by our human standards, she looks like she wouldn't be considered an attractive robot, especially compared to all the other female robots in the show. But apparently by robot standards, she's extremely attractive. Ugh, Bender, you didn't touch the Crushinator, did you? Of course not! A lady that fine, you got a romance first! Bender has had several encounters with Crushinator throughout the show, and she's even had a child with him named Junior. At one point, she even wins the Miss Earth's Moon pageant, so I think this is why she's been cemented in our hearts as the lovely, deep-voiced, gigantic robot that she is. So this build came around in quite a bit of a different way than my usual builds. Several months ago, I was contacted about the Planet Express ship that I made for Joel Telling by Andy of Futurama Shop UK. I'll put a link to their Twitter down in the description, so go show some love. They're trying to break a world record by having the largest collection of Futurama items and there's room in there for fan-made items. So I decided that all of my Futurama models would live there to um, assist in this goal. But as we were talking a bit, the subject of Crushinator came up, and I really liked that idea, so I went to work creating this. Andy helped out a ton with finding great reference pictures and determining how big the final thing should be. Then as I progressed, I sent over pictures and Andy actually forwarded them onto the creator of Crushinator, Peter Avanzino. I hope I'm saying that right and Peter gave some feedback so that I could adjust the model and make it look even more like the Crushinator from the show. I think that's absolutely amazing that my work has been in front of the creator of the original subject, so hopefully Chelsea and I's creation is worthy of the original. And today we actually have a sponsor lined up for this video, so I'd like to take a moment and please join me in thanking Poplars for helping support the show. Pop a poplar in your mouth when you come to Fishy Joe's. Where they come from is a mystery, what they're made of no one knows. You can pick them, you can lick them, you can chew them, you can stick them, and if you promise not to sue us, you can shove one up your nose. So thank you poplars, pick them up at your nearest Fishy Joe's, at participating locations only. Now as far as how we made this, I started by going into Fusion 360 and just sketching out some basic dimensions, trying to figure out how big the different sections of the body needed to be, and after that I went through and sketched out most of her details. Once I start getting the details on there, it's easier to see what's out of place and needs adjusting. And then from there, it was mostly a process of extruding the parts out and cutting the details out. Then I sliced it in Simplify 3D and sent it over to print on my Creality CR10. I printed it out at 0.1mm layer height using Hatchbox PLA. I printed it in several different parts to make assembling and support removal easier. After that, Chelsea did her usual magic and made it look amazing. She started by sanding the crap out of it and applying filler primer to remove visible layer lines. Then she airbrushed the main pink color of the body. She painted all of the smaller details with a paintbrush and acrylic paints. Then she finished it off with a glossy clear coat. So it was a pretty standard process for creating this model, even though it's quite a bit bigger than the other ones that we do. So Crushinator has got to be one of the most iconic characters, and she only has like three lines in the actual show. I also love the design and all of the humor that surrounds Crushy in the show. This here is Lulu Bell 7. Yoo hoo! Daisy May 128K. Yoo hoo! And the Crushinator. Yoo hoo! Whoa. So I hope this model finds a good home in the world's largest Futurama collection, and I hope we've done it justice. <laughs> <laughs>